I don't throw away anything. I'm a heavy smoker. This thing is a cigarette butt, same thing. Don't throw them out, keep them all and glue them together. I'm so disgusted with the amount of waste that we do in this society. We throw out, you know, usable things all the time. I feel I just have to try to make something of interest out of it. The foundation, um, uh, in my experience, has afforded me an opportunity to show and share my work. It's a lot of the answers that one may be looking for in understanding themselves and their own existence uh, exists within nature. I think Shreveport and all of Louisiana especially is going to be very happy about this. When they walk into that space and see the, the scope and scale and grandeur of this work and, and they go, oh, I, that rela I can relate to that. That's really something. That's really something special. YWCA may soon be seeing its last days. The program has functioned for years to help local women struggling with raising children and abuse problems. The YWCA has helped single moms by paying the rent and counseling, but now the interim executive director is calling. It has been vacant for now a number of years. This is one of those buildings that if you didn't have a lot of vision, if you couldn't see beyond the trash, and the unkempt conditions, you would have walked away and done this, said, I want nothing to do with this building. This is somebody else's problem. My name is Stephanie Lusk. I'm from New York City, and I live in Shreveport, Louisiana. A long story short, my husband and I met on Match.com, and he's originally from Shreveport, and now we're here permanently. We'll be opening the Rainforest Art Foundation, which is a nonprofit a group that my mom started. Well, that, I guess it is a personal thing. I'm, I, I love my parents, and you know, this is something that's important to them. My mom was born in Taiwan. She came to the U.S. I think in 1963. She is a, a world-showing painter. She does abstraction of nature paintings. Nature give me lots of inspirations for my paintings. I like to paint the nature movement. Slowly I realized how important it is because it started to have a rainforest was cut down first, then global warming. Now it's the glacier melting. It's, it's all affected. It's all, now the weather is changing great deal. My parents are very cool parents. They're really awesome. I, I like to think of them as conservative hippies. Actually, I think my son is the magnet for why the Rainforest Art Foundation and the Marlene Union Museum are coming to Shreveport. <laughs> I joke I'd either have to have a baby or an art show to bring my parents down here. Wyatt, my grandson, and, uh, uh, took my heart away. <laughs> so I like to see him quite often. My dad has a lot of experience um, in developing and transforming, converting buildings and blocks in Soho and Tribeca, places in New York City, Chelsea, and these are now the trendy art areas in New York. I was involved with Marlene's work, or painting, and uh, we were looking for spaces, which we, we, we found spaces in Soho. But we saw the growth of Soho from very early on. And we saw many artists coming into Soho from all over the world to establish themselves a place to work and to show. We witnessed all of that. I think Shreveport is ready for that. Our initial focus is to clear the offices, this is the main ground floor for the main exhibition hall for the Rainforest Art Foundation. On that side is the performance hall and mini theater. And then here is the 
a side wing, and we will open this up somehow by maybe a stairway down into the gym for uh, the Marlene New Museum, where she has her uh, large size paintings. And there's also a, um, uh, a little cafeteria downstairs, which may be like a rehearsal studio or events space that opens up into the courtyard, which will clear for a sculpture garden. We, we're hoping that we can save the pool to be the white water and climbing training center for maybe an outdoor uh, enthusiast group. And then I like, um, I like there. I like Louisiana. I think people are very friendly. You are walking on the street, people say hello to you, and they say, do I know the guy? <laughs> so, so it's, it's the same. Like, here in New York, you know, we, we are afraid to look at each other. <laughs> if you're an environmentalist, conservationist, if you're an artist, if you're looking to help develop downtown, if you are a family person in Shreveport and want to see more fun things in, in the city here for your kids and for your family, we need your support.